shop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. There's a big one for BBB Gaming. Definitely a mind game here on game two. Get slammed choosing Protoss instead of Zerg, and and I'm pretty sure Ruff was thinking that Get Slamp wouldn't change up his races. Right. So, right. Um, I mean, like when if I, he can when... play Protoss just as well as Zerg, it's, it's a beautiful strategic decision just because of the map. Yeah, really, really. So Ruff, um, perhaps known for some some very very fast rushes on Zelnaga Caverns, I was gonna I was gonna try to predict. Five racks, um, marines into reapers into battle cruisers like last week, but I don't know what to expect anymore because I don't think Ruff has ever purposely chosen Zelnaga Caverns in a Terran versus Protoss. Ruff with a little bit of smack talk here, maybe some fun talk, uh, saying his TBZ is actually his weakest, and he's gl glad that Get Slammed swapped over to Protoss. So trying to get into the head of his opponent right away. And we are starting the countdown here. We'll be in this game on Zelnaya Caverns, game two of Wednesday Night Starcraft, in just a moment. Yeah, and get slammed if you if guys haven't taken a look at his profile. I believe he's a rank 66 Grandmasters right now. So two very high Grandmasters, as we already uh -oh. see Ruff moving out with a very early SCV. We'll get back to him in just a moment, as we see Ruff spawning as the blue Terran player on the top right-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, we see Get Slam spawning as the red Protoss player on the bottom left-hand side of the map. So our prediction here is a in-base barracks inside of uh, Get Slam's base, and then a, a bunker chain right to his nexus. And if Get Slam uh, makes all of his buildings very close to his nexus, doesn't scout for this at all, it's going to be so tough to deal with. Just the timing of this. The bunker's going to finish, and it's just going to be zealots and probes trying to take it down. As Ruff has that uh, that SCV in position, he's going to be making that supply depot right away, and that SCV is going to chill out for a while in the base of uh, of Get Slammed. And I'm sure that Get Slammed is not predicting or expecting this. Well, Get Slammed, um, if he is a customary player or he has heard of Ruff, he should scout out this region over here to the north. At the very least, we'll see what's going to be happening here in just a moment as the SCV gets ready, waiting for the Supply Depot to finish. And there is the Barracks, and there is the Scouting Probe. Get Slam does spot the Barracks, and it is quickly canceled by Ruff. Ruff, realizing that that is not going to work, now returns home as the Barracks is built back at home. Yeah, <laughs> Get Slam says only once. Apparently, these two players have met before, and Ruff has done that to him, so... Uh, I'm sure that would have been extra special for Ruff if he was able to get the, uh, the same player with the same trick twice. But let's talk a little bit about that and what that cost Ruff. He didn't have that SCV mining from the very start of the game. So that's about 50 minerals per minute. Uh, and that uh, SCV was over not mining basically for two and a half minutes. So that cost him almost uh, 150 minerals, almost a barracks worth. But it doesn't mess up his build too much as a, he still uh, is able to cancel that barracks and create it back in his base. So he's going to be able to proceed here basically with an, a more normal game, just taking that quick chance that might have worked. Yeah, so we'll see how Ruff um, plays this normal game. And as normal as Ruff can play this game now, he is behind on food and harvesters, though. Um, 19 harvesters to 15. The mules, um, as powerful as they are, um, is only going to really even things up compared to the chrono boosting that Get Slamp does. If um, Get Slamp actually starts chrono boosting his Nexus more, which I think would make a lot more sense, he doesn't need that warp gate tech faster. He knows that his opponent is behind him in economy, and he doesn't really need that stalker faster. By getting that stalker across the field, all he's going to do is find a bunker and not be able to charge up. Um, getting a probe or two faster, um, I think, would have really been a much better use of resources and energy yeah maybe he thinks that ruff is actually farther behind than he act and then ruff actually is as he is chronoing out those first few units and he's sending them right across the field so hoping to put uh, some pressure on here and i guess it's a smart play because if ruff had maybe a barracks here instead of a bunker he could use that stalker to pick off some marines really whittle them down early but check out the timing on this bunker by ruff he's going to finish just in time to uh, be able to defend beautifully against the zealot stalker pressure yeah and also there i believe no pile no, there is one probe but the probe has not warped in any more pylons there is also um, o only a robotics facility so it is not going to be followed up with additional gateway pressure and this game should not be over anytime soon. 
now all we really see is that there's a zealot and a stalker in the middle of the field and they're early but there's no party for them to really go to as there's an scv now watching over here the probe um, apparently did catch sight of that scv going to take down that scv before um the before the SCV can really spot the incoming Nexus, but we should also be getting an additional command center coming in from Ruff as well. So Ruff's SCV did see that probe though, so he noticed that Get Slammed wanted to place down the expansion, so he is himself going to be placing down an expansion perhaps, though he hasn't started it quite yet. Right now he's going for an engineering bay and a factory, and I have a feeling that this is going to be the heavy marine upgrade play where he gets plus one, he gets combat shield and stim pack along with a few medevacs and tries to bust down a greedy, uh, you know, Protoss player. So uh, just using gateway units, this is going to be really tough to handle unless he uh, is able to chrono out an early Colossi or something to get some AOE going. The upgraded Marines with plus one, with stim and with combat shield is going to do very well against gateway units. Yeah, but right now, Get Slammed already knowing about this somehow, getting a robotics bay, getting that robotics facility. He should start the extended thermal lance range. He is a little bit gas restricted right now, though, and is only at 40 over 42 compared to 38 over 43. Harvester count, 29 compared to 26, and that means that mule is giving him a much, much stronger economy. Rough and a slightly ahead up until Get Slammed gets his another nexus down, and he that additional nexus means less diminishing returns on these mineral patches and i think the attack needs to come soon yeah and get slam does have an observer in the base of rough so he sees everything that's going on he knows that marines are coming he knows that there's an early engineering bay it's working on something and he can see that tech lab going as well so he knows it's mostly marines and it's going to be a lot of upgrades so the fact that he's rushing out colossi i think is the perfect counter to this he doesn't have a lot of gateways just three at the moment so we'll see whether that hurts him uh in the long run if those marines are able to stim in and take down the colossi uh it could be pretty strong without a lot of gateway support yeah, what you're going to see now is Ruff is moving out with these with these medevacs. He needs to do this attack, and he knows that uh, the Colossus, the first Colossus is already coming out. The second Colossus perhaps is going to be corner boosted out. We are now starting extended thermal lance range. The Marines do have a range of five compared to a range of six, and this is going to be a very delicate matter. This is going to have to be microed absolutely perfectly by Ruff. If he tries to all in here, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble as the Colossus is now going to come in and now getting some easy, easy damage onto some Marines there. But it did force some force fields as the Marines are now going to split off. This is going to be a nice play. Ruff trying to put pressure on the front door and perhaps taking down a pylon or two. And now also attacking the back door. Probes now getting taken down in the back over here. The Colossus now making their way over. In comes another force field. The Medevac may pick up those units. Taking down another Zealot. Is it going to happen as a drop now happening in the main base as well? Yeah, and this is what I talk what I was talking about. Just so few gateways at the moment, and uh, Get Slam can't really engage this because he can't tank for that Colossi. So he's trying to poke here, and Ruff is going to get a ton of probes. Might actually be able to just pick up and go home, as there aren't a lot of stalkers out either. So the lack of stalkers, the heavy investment in both the Colossi and that extended thermal lance means gas is going to be really restricted at the moment for Get Slammed, and he's not able to get any anti-air units. And Ruff is just going to be able to pick up here, take harm almost no damage i think he lost just three marines or so in all that uh that harassment he was able to take down 21 workers so wow it's uh it's 27 to 31 and the fact that get slammed had down that early expansion completely nullified by that attack by rough yeah i was kind of concerned for rough after i saw the colossus but as soon as i saw extended thermal lance range being upgraded as opposed to chrono boosting out a second colossus um, I thought things would go well, but I did not imagine that Ruff would be able to execute a two-part a two attack so perfectly, putting down pressure in the main base, getting in so many kills, and essentially hitting the reset button on this game. Ruff now has the economic advantage as he does have mules, he has Vikings, level 1 armor upgrades about to be completed. And without any upgrades coming in from the Protoss, Get Slammed is going to be in a very, very difficult situation to come back to. Yeah, Get Slammed already ahead 37 to 31 harvest net, Harvesters now. He is uh, just making a ton of probes, trying to get back to decent saturation. 
but he's actually only working off of two of his three gas at the moment. And Ruff, as you mentioned with those mules, staying pretty even, 1,200 to about 1,100 minerals per minute. But Ruff has already swapped over to Viking, so he's going to be able to counter with these eight Vikings. It's going to be these uh, three Colossi pretty easily. And again, just a very low gateway count here for Get Slam, just three gateways at the moment. So he does not have a lot of gateway units to tank for these Colossi. So once those go down uh, to these Vikings, I feel like Get Slam's gateway units not going to be able to deal with the 1-1 Marines with Stim and Combat Shields here from Ruff. Yeah, Get Slap apparently hearing you, now warping in two additional gateways. He will have a total of five, but it may be a little bit too little too late as the Marines and Vikings already on the move. And now this is going to turn out to be really, really bad. As soon as the Vikings shoot, the Vikings can just charge straight into this group, taking down those Colossi. The Marines are backing off, and one Colossus down, two Colossi. Most likely will get taken down in just a moment. They are all retreating there, but many of the Vikings were shot down as well. So this is going to be a very difficult engagement as the Marines continue to push. Yeah, Marines pushing in. If they're able to take down those Stalkers, the Vikings could just have a field day with the remaining Colossi. Another one goes down, another one. Three of the four Colossi are dead. The fourth one could be focused down very quickly here. Down it goes, and now it's just Stim Marines with 1-1 one, one against all these gateway units. But there are just not enough Marines, I feel, to, uh, to take on all these gateway units. He should be focusing down those gas-heavy units in the sentries and the Stalkers. But I feel like Ruff did decent damage there. He's able to really lighten the Colossi count of Get Slammed, so it's going to take quite a while before Get Slammed, able to get those all-important Colossi out once again and do any sort of push. Yeah, but Ruff, for some reason, had stopped his harvester count, he is now, or yeah, his yeah. harvester production. He's now at 37 compared to 47. At one point, Ruff did have a 3-4 to four harvester advantage, and now he is in a 12 harvester deficit. And it, and we still see more Chrono Boosting coming off from Get Slamp onto the Nexuses here. So this is looking very good, and he still has some leftover energy onto those robotics facilities as well. I still um, would like to see some some sort of weapons upgrade as I still do not see a forge any or there are forges on the field but they are not researching anything at all. Yeah, we do have Ruff added a number of barracks, so he's going to be coming out with more and more Marines. They don't have any tech labs or reactors on them, though, and he is producing Vikings four at a time, so he's going to be able to basically uh, take control of the Colossi Viking battle at this point. So if he's able to do that, then he's going to be able to focus a lot on Marine and perhaps even Marauder, uh, though he doesn't have many tech labs at the moment, and just crush the Gateway Army. Get Slammed has tried to respond here. He's gotten up double forges, and he is chronoing out those upgrades, trying to get caught up to Ruff, who is already at one one, but Ruff has actually stopped his upgrades. He has yet to get out an armory to uh, continue those with his engineering bay. So I feel like Ruff actually has to push out pretty soon here before the Colossi count gets outrageous and before the 1 1 hits for Get Slam. Yeah, Ruff right now going to take down this proxy pylon, take down these destructible rocks. I believe Ruff is going to be establishing a command center here. At the same time, a nexus is being established by Get Slam. And Ruff really needs to engage. If he doesn't engage, he's going to have a very uphill battle. Currently sitting on 11 Vikings as the command center now coming in. And we'll see how all of this works. There are currently two Colossi. Stalkers are now making their way in. The factory looks like it's going to get shot down. But with already two starports in play, I don't think Ruff needs another factory. It's not going to get replaced. And now this very large army is going to engage. But there are observers to keep track and know where exactly Ruff is at any moment in this matchup. Ruff going to push in here, having to stim back, and he's actually overproduced Vikings a little bit. He's got 13 to just the two Colossi, so he's going to take these Colossi completely out of the game. The Marines are going to be able to work on the, uh, the Zealots and the Stalkers here. He's just got a few medevacs, though, so they're going to be getting low on energy uh, once these Marines do start stimming up a bit. And the Vikings landing now to do a little bit of ground damage, lifting off once again. And now that the Colossi count is very low, I feel like anyone is basically just going to be one shot by these Vikings. Ruff going to be pushing in here with these Marines, going for the kill. Yeah, Marines now are now just rolling over at the natural expansion and now going to try to engage here. The Colossus is going to fall very quickly. The Vikings can land now and try to split up the army. And there you go. Now, the Stalkers really have nowhere to run. Marines in the front. Stalkers and uh, Stalkers engaging Vikings in the back. And I think Ruff, if he stutter steps as well, the Zealots are not going to be able to get that much damage. The Medivacs had a lot of energy, surprisingly, as they've been in play for quite a while. And they still can heal up the rest of these Marines here. We are going into Blink. This Nexus is going to fall. And Ruff somehow in, in a very advantageous position once more. Yeah, I had a little bit of concern that he had cut his medevac production in favor of just a lot of Vikings. But the fact that he had those medevacs alive the entire game, they were all at 200-200 energy. And I suppose you don't need a ton of medevacs uh, 
if you just keep them alive and keep them banked high on energy. So Ruff saying who needs Marauders, a little bit of uh, chattiness by him. So hopefully these players are on good terms and Get Slam doesn't feel it's too BM. But uh, Get Slam not GGing out of this one quite yet. He does have one Colossi, but these Vikings are going to be able to basically one-shot it at this point, and Ruff going to take this ramp. Yeah, Ruff just charging up the ramp here. No sentries to split it up. And Get Slam leaves the game. So Ruff able to even up the series at one game apiece as we now figure out who Convergence Gaming will bring up next on Wednesday Night StarCraft.